So welcome back. My name is Kirby. How 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 how? Today we're making something different. We're making a series where I break down uh, professional uh, patterns that professionals make. Uh, beatbox professionals, obviously, uh, on Swiss Beatbox, and I break down the patterns they make, and I will, yeah, I will give them to you, and I will make you pr be able to practice them. This is amazing idea because when I started out I felt like I didn't have a lot of patterns to use and I couldn't find too many patterns and yeah that's what's the main problem for me and why not make patterns from the best beatboxers like, like they are the best on this planet why shouldn't we learn from them and the best way to learn from them is by using the patterns and not copying them just using the patterns to learn to create your own routines in beatboxing and this also will keep every beatboxer motivated by me keeping out these videos because I'm gonna put out a lot of videos, I was my thought. And yeah, I think if you learn new patterns all the time, you'll stay motivated, always improving. And that's that was beat is what beatboxing should be about. Yeah. So enough of talking, we're gonna get right to it. I chose the battle between Hiram and Renegade, and um, this is just the peak of the battle right here. The first pattern we gotta look at is Hiram's. It sounds a bit like this. I dropped out bombs on you. I have to say that I can't make the patterns as good as the professionals, obviously, but I will try my best to make it as close as possible to what they do. On Hiram, what I heard of uh, the beginning of his uh, pattern, at least, sounded a bit like this. I think there's a crazy ba pattern, and yeah, I think uh, you should learn it. So it's some um, tongue bass. If you can't make that, search up a tutorial for it. There are a lot of them. This basically pu putting a lot of pressure on your arse, like incredible amounts of pressure and case snare and um, kick. You make like, and then you put those together like, you make them very tight. So that's cool beat, you should learn it. And yeah, let's move on to the next pattern. So, so the second beat, so the second beat is by Renegade. It sounds exactly like this. The two at the same, same time. <laughs> So that beat, in my opinion, is something like As you heard me in the beginning. This is the pattern, right there. The melody you can see right there, but... Um, it's like do 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 do, and then you put a tongue bass on that. <laughs> then you put two lip rolls right there, and uh, with a kick. First the tongue bass, and then you make the K K snare, and then directly after that K snare, you gotta make the next um, tongue bass. <laughs> gotta make that song. <laughs> It's coming right after. So I think that sound is like it's a tight sound as well. 
I think that sound is you gotta learn first <coughs> to uh, get down this pattern. So it's like. <coughs> Like that. Something like that. And then you got. And yeah, that's kind of the way I can explain it. So move on to the last beat. The next beat sounds exactly like this, and it's by Hiram. So this is a very difficult uh, beat for me to make. So don't expect me to do as, as good as him, obviously, because like he's a professional and I have just practiced like two days and yeah, so don't expect too much. And I think I can make, uh, show you later uh, when I improve this uh, pattern. But the most important is that you learn this pattern and you see how it looks. And uh, it looks like this so it's a very very simple uh, pattern as what I could hear but the thing that makes it so complicated and so epic and so mind-blowing is that it's making it so goddamn fast like it's inc ridiculous how fast it makes it and it's not that complicated but it's a very very fast and that's what you gotta practice to get to the level so it's simply a kick roll <coughs> Tell me in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on any of these sounds because it's a very much new information now for you, I guess. But uh, I want you to learn fast and learn good and learn epic <laughs> and uh, improve. So tell me in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on that. But that's simple like kick, hi hat, and kick and do it very fast. <laughs> and it takes really much time to get there like this. Don't expect to get there like this in the beginning. Like this took me a long time. And then you make a <coughs> hollow clop. If you want me to make a tutorial on that, I could make it, but there's a lot of tutorials on it already. So the beat is built up of, so it's actually two series of sound. You combine like <coughs> and <coughs> you make different sound on the hollow clop by O shaping your lips or widening out your lips. You could learn it by practicing like and then and then combining them like and yeah that's I can't explain it in another way it's just practice the speed like I kind of think like I make the kick and then right when I'm doing the kick, I'm, I'm at the same time hollowing, I'm making a hollow clap. Like. Yeah, so I can show you another way on that. So that's the three beats and um, hope you enjoyed the video and I really enjoyed making this video and I'm enjoying making this and that's probably gonna make the videos better and more fun and more consistent and everything. Give me any tips on this series if I could make this video shorter. I maybe only should do one pattern and focus more on that. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and share, please. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Kirby and I am out. So much to learn. You shouldn't think you know too much to learn. In short time, bro. You shouldn't learn too much in short time, bro. Oh. Oh. <sighs>